Alright guys, I'm about to take the worst ride of my life. So I'm gonna be seeing you in the next few minutes. And the of us coach your mentor signing off. Well, hello everybody, what's good? This is your boy, the GOAT, Andy Zara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. And also, don't forget to turn on that notification bell for in case I drop a new video, you always alerted. First of all, guys, I'd like to apologize for taking too long to update my content. The reason was now I have ventured to the music industry and um, I'm now do getting into the music industry with bangers and bangers and bangers and bangers at the top so if you don't believe it take a look at this so beyond that what's gonna happen is guys today i'm gonna show you about a video where i took an account from 0.06 dollars to actually 3100 us guys it's epic i won't lie you're gonna love it and if you didn't know guys i'm back with another banger bro so let's get to it see you on the other side let's go okay so what's pretty nice here is wait before we continue take a look at this account take a look at the balance take a look at the credit take a look at the the lot size it might be confusing to really understand what i was trying to do right here right <laughs> don't worry about it guys so this the secret is behind the broker i'm using the broker i'm using it's globex 360. Globex 360 is one of the best brokers in South Africa and it's also a global good broker for people to use. It actually accommodates people who literally don't have enough funds to fund their accounts. It allows you to fund as minimum as a $50 up to the maximum you can possibly fund. The good thing about it, it also affords you to have a credit. This means if you fund $50, you'll have a bonus of $50, which your total be $100. How great is that? And also guys, let me not forget about the promotions they normally have. Just like as you can see on this account, this account, I grew it from 0 0.06 cent dollars to actually the maximum account of which I'm going to take you step by step of how I grew it. How possibly did I do that? Globex was having a promotion of 30% drawdown allowance for possible people when you're on a drawdown. How does that happen? When you are trading, for an instance, you funded $50 and now you are on minus $50. Globex is going to allow you to have a drawdown of extra 30% on top of the initial deposited amount. How great is that? So if you want to use the broker that I'm using, the link is on description. Make sure you go click on it right now and register. And also don't forget to join the Telegram group that I'm opening that I'm gonna be creating a movement for the people so that they understand how I possibly grew an account from 0.06 cents dollars to 
3,000 USD dollars. So without any further waste of time, let's jump to how I possibly took the account from 0 0.06 cents dollars to actually 3,000 dollars. Let's get to it. So on this account, you would literally see how possible did I land on 0 0.06 cents and have a credit of 693.30 dollars. A lot of people would think that maybe I blew the account or whatever, whatever. No, guys, I didn't blow the account. I funded, I traded, and I grew the account after withdrawing. I was given an opportunity to have an extra $693.30 so that I can continue trading. You're gonna see that as the video continues on the recorded videos that I'll be having, whereby I'm showing you when I withdrew the 4,000 USD that I withdrawn and then after i was given an extra credit of 693 dollars point 30 cents so that i could continue training let's get to it as you can see i had my analysis really really proper where i saw a descending type structure coming to retest a possible support zone of an overall bullish momentum type structure so what made me to buy at this opportunity is that if you can look closely right there that was a type of kind of correction that happened which allowed me to want to actually continue with the buys since we already tested the actual overall target of the daily time frame bullish momentum so let's get to the chart so that i can explain how i took the trade Audi cad so how possible did i take this trade if you can look at it in an overall target guys we had our first touch second touch and third possible touch and also at the top we had double touch which is one and two but this one was a possible third touch let's drop it to a four hour time frame so that you can possibly see how i entered my buys as we drop it to a four hour time frame you can actually see that this was an impulse move to the upside and this acted as a correction which made my analysis more much of a confirmation for me to enter continuations of buys remember these are the analysis i had on my charts especially on the trading view than the previous one i showed you that i have it on the phone now, if we drop it to a one hour time frame, you're going to possibly see what I was talking about. We had an impulse move to the upside and then this was now acting as a correction, which actually came into confirmation for me when I saw that we also on a support structure right here, which is supported every time that the prices touch here, they always go back up. So I anticipated that possible buys might occur at this current moment that's when i entered my buying opportunities let's see how the progress went about as you can see as you can see it started pushing up it started pushing up started pushing up came back down and it continued playing far most as possible until it actually got out of the structure and built up towards breaking the upper zone let's take a look at it i kept on holding the chart kept on holding the chart you see guys it was actually playing around the zone because of what it was also respecting this zone as i mentioned right the prices kept on pushing up until they broke out of the structure this was when i had my stop loss over here to protect the profits i had this was when I had my stop loss right here to protect the profits I had, which is a stop loss, as you can mention right there, to protect my profits that I had. And then I started looking on the left. When I looked at the left, I saw that possible this might be the next possible touch for the prices to reject because there is a resistance zone. That's when I shifted my stop loss again from this point from this point till this point reason being this level right here that's when i put my stop loss and then i allowed the market to play along if you can look at it the market kept on playing 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 till i was taken out right here so that is how i landed 244 usd 
as a balance now instead of the credit but when i started doing this guys i wasn't really comfortable with trading an account that is on zero but it came along with good time as i saw the account growing that's when i decided to stop recording so let's look at the next screenshot i had for the account so take a look at the remember i said put attention on the credit so that you can be able to track if i'm still trading the same account take a look at the screenshot that i took when i was placing trade of audi and the d and one selling opportunity for audi cad now the account was now on 144 usd 0.58 so let me show you how i took the audi and the d trade so the structure looked something like this so we had a break above with the descending type of structure that confirmed that we might be pushing up in the next movement that is how i got my buying opportunities and when i got my buying opportunities bear in mind that i'm trading with caution because when you're trading a small account you need to scalp not swing possible swings might okay but it happens out of luck and skill so you need to learn how to use your skills well that is when fx code jumps in fx code we are here for you we are here to teach you how the nature of the market works around instead of giving you things like robots things like um, softwares we give you a pure skill that you can utilize to set yourself up for success to register with our course the link is on description go click it the currency course is on 50 percent discount which is from 600 usd to 300 usd and the nasdaq and us 30 course is on discount from 500 usd to 250 usd make sure you get your course while the discount still lost without any further waste of time let's get back to all the nz d so as you can look at it right now the market actually reached the point that's when we decided to buy right and then as we played further you can possibly see it started trickling trickling and trickling and trickling up until it got out but because i was too skeptical of the trade that's when i noticed that we also have a certain type of nature here which might be a possible reversal structure for me to to actually be trapped in a trade so that's when i closed my trades off od and zd because of the resistance that I saw right there, remember here we're scalping, we are not swinging. So if you can look at the progress of how the trade happened, you would see it started going back down, started going back down, went back up, going down, went back up. So imagine if you were trapped inside a trade like this. You could have come up to a ball and most probably hanged yourself for something. But I was really lucky enough to get out of the trade while it's still early. So that is how I took the Audi and the D trade. So let's look at how the reaction was on the next level. So guys, one thing I never actually recorded when I was doing this, it was the matter of fact that I took an Euro and the D trade, but never documented it. But let me explain it how I actually took it. I want you to take a look at the screen. I'm gonna be explaining how I took the Euro and the D trade the GBP USD trade and the NZD USD trade. So the good part is I had screenshots before as you can look at it right now. On this screenshot, I already entered my buying opportunities back before I actually started taking the screenshot. The reason was when I took the trade, I was really skeptical without understanding whether it's going to continue to go up. But I also had confirmations of how it's going to work out let me explain how i took the trade of euro and the d so if you can look at the charts right now you would most probably see on a one hour time frame how the market has been so the market actually touched the zone with the descending type of nature structure which actually pushed it upside and if you zoom it in you're gonna most probably see that this was a correction that's retesting the resistance zone over here that is when i started anticipating possible buying opportunities which my first entry was here supported by the fact that we are at this current zone over here that's when i entered my first buying opportunities and then 
I let the market move because I was anticipating to take my profits right big. What happened was the market kept on pushing, kept on pushing till it went out impulsively and extremely far more than I couldn't believe myself, guys. I won't lie. I didn't believe that this trade was actually possible because I just entered and immediately we moved impulsively to the outside. I guess this happened because of the news. After looking at the stats of how the, the economy was moving in New Zealand, that's when I noticed that the New Zealand was having a conflict of some sort for me to be actually to spot this good trade. So that's when I profited and I had my stop loss pre placed over here. Reason being, this was the next zone to be retested for possible retracements because of how it's very sensitive. You can look sensitive area, sensitive area, sensitive area. So I don't like actually taking unnecessary profits back to the markets, but I like actually capitalizing from the markets far most as possible. So I let the markets to play. As the market kept playing, I wasn't yet taken out of the trade. As you can see, I was missed by a few pips. And then I let the market move. I let the market move, kept on moving, kept on moving. As the market kept on moving, that's when I spotted that now we impulse to the upside and now we are correcting. This means we are breaking out and retesting the zone that we already have as a resistant trend line right here, retesting it in a proper manner. That is why I scaled in with other entries over here. with the stop loss somewhere right about here so i let the market move because now my anticipated take profit was somewhere right about here and then as i let the market move as i let the market move you can see now the market started pushing to the upside and towards my entry as it's towards my entry i'm profiting for the mark from the market guys but bear in mind now i shifted my stop loss from here to actually here reason is if you can look at this zone is actually a zone of which possibly the market can retest there now i'm having trades i'm holding here and also the scaling entries i had over here and then i let the market move i let the market move i let the market move me understanding how the market works the market can only cover 90 percent of its previous correction so if this was a correction overall here this means the market's 90 percent it's somewhere right about here which makes it 100 percent if it comes here to touch at the top that's what i know about the market the market can only cover 90 percent of the previous correction if it's impulsive so now we are impulsing to the upside and the correction we are we have covered it now we are left with only 10 percent to finish off the correction and cover all the correction but instead of doing that the market started creating zones over here as we allow the market to play you're gonna probably see that the market started pushing to the downside that's when i was taking out of the trade that's how i went about the trade of euro nzd that's how i went about the trade of euro nzd now let me explain how i took the gbp usd trade take a look at the screen right now as you take a look at the screen, you're gonna see I had my sales of GDP USD screenshotted from my MetaTrader platform. If you look at it, look at where the market is right now. Let's explain that on trading view. So now, as you can look at this, guys, I actually saw that the market actually had an impulse to the upside and then started building up a bearish moment type type of structure. And now as I looked at it, analyzing on what was happening with the current market, I quite noticed that it built a bullish structure inside a bearish structure. And also, we also experienced some type of fake out over here, which this struck a lot of traders to understanding that this might be turning as a buying opportunity or buying structure, only to find out that it was only respecting the previous trend line, which was our resistance and also respecting the previous zone over here as we drop into a one hour time frame you're gonna most probably see that now the structure inside here it was supported by the structure i saw over here now let's revert this back over here so that we can never have messy charts so as you can look at it right now the market was here and we had an impulsive downside now for me this was a correction 
and my second confirmation was that we come from an ascending type of structure inside a bullish momentum type structure or nature so for that being said in my viewings and in my strategy it allows me to read the nature of the market understanding how patterns work understanding how structures work understanding how the nature works and then it worked in my benefit so continuing with how the market the market reacted the market kept on putting. as you can see the market impulsed to the downside now this was quite tricky because far most as possible i thought the market was testing something right about here and then what I did when the market was here, I closed my trades. Because it was kind of not official that the market would be pushing extremely to the downside as it didn't have great movements over here. But what did I do? I waited, right? As I waited, the market kept on pushing, pushing till it went back up. And I, I looked at how it's going to move for the next times. And then now, this was now again another correction for me. But this time, I didn't actually take the trade because I felt as much that the market is not moving quite as it needs to move with GDPUSD. The nature is quite tricklish because it impulses up, impulses down. There's no clear corrections and whatever. That's when I signed out from the trade of GDPUSD. D. See, look at the screenshot right here that was taken on my Metal Trader 4. As I highlighted right there, if you look at it closely, that's when I took my profits because I was quite skeptical of how the next movement will be. That's how it happened with profiting from GBP USD. Remember, I was only scalping on this account. I was never swinging because the main point was to grow the account. So let's look at how I took the NZD USD trade. So let's look at NZD USD. If you look at a chart right now, you would most probably see that I had my resistance zone drawn and also my structure that was acting as a bearish flag drawn. The good part about it is this trade was a scalp type of entry which worked in my favor. Let's look at the chart to show you how I took it with the analysis that I had on TradingView. So if you can look at the market right now guys, we were having a bearish type of channel. This means every time we reach this level, every time we reach this level, we always tend to go down. So in my anticipations, I noticed that possibly here, we could possibly also be going down. So I put my sell stop over here. As I put my sell stop, I waited for the market to move. When the market moving, it's now it triggered me into the trade. As it triggered me to the trade, remember, my target was to hold this trade till here, till here, but looking at the account and remembering that I'm growing the account by scalping, my target was firstly here. So as I kept on, the market kept on pushing, look now where we were at. We were somewhere right about here. But I remember I took profit somewhere right about here because of the zone that was actually drawn. Because if you can look at it, it started acting dodgy as well now. It started impulsing to the downside, upside, downside, downside, upside. So the market hands, guys, I was telling you that I remember my target was somewhere right about here, but the market can only cater up till the next correction, 90% of it. So that's how I actually went out of this trade by going out after the market reached the point. And also you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you the screenshot of um, results I got from my students and also from my subscribers in the group whereby I'm giving them when to buy and when to sell. So let's take a look at it.
let yourself be distant And Father go We pray so hard for forgiveness In peace it's true, let me go In turn this rule, you turn to Tina, the fool, you turn to I put a ring on it, boom, shout to I put a ring on it Mielin, 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 mielin Boku, sababa Sizinga, nyesako Pe, we put a babu, ngambe, kisanda As you can see, we were having screenshot of profits for NZUSD SSL, and then we had screenshots of Euro NZD SA buy. So that's how it shows that guys we were actually pushing. So look at now where the account was. The account was now standing on 521.10 US dollars from 0 0.06 cents dollars how amazing is this guys it's pure skill that you can only get when you join fx code don't forget guys for you to have such a skill like me go to the description below and go to courses you will see the link to join our courses i told you that guys the course is on 50% discount from 600 USD to 300 USD and US30 and Nasdaq they are on 250 USD discount from 500 USD main price so without any further waste of time let's jump to the next one of how the account was growing okay guys as you can possibly see right now that we actually took extra trades with extra trade it was USD JPY and GBP JPY let's jump to the chart so that you can see why i placed the trades on gbp jpy and usd jpy okay so what came into confirmation it was the matter of fact that on a daily time frame we were having a contraction channel a contraction channel is when prices move from a bigger from bigger version to being a smaller version this means the contraction triangle channel right prices are only squeezing in inside the triangle but they're squeezing towards the dead end of the smallest pattern so that was our first confirmation as you can see first touch second touch third touch this was when we anticipated the fourth touch so let's drop it to a four hour time frame so that it can make sense as it's dropped to a four hour time frame you're gonna be most probably see that we were having an ascending type nature structure on a bigger version and the bigger the version of a structure it highly confirms that um, very soon we're gonna be expecting some changes in prices so if you can look at it this was the fourth touch that happened that quite tri triggered a lot of traders to thinking that now this is turning into a possible buying um, set up or either buying opportunities but looking at it for me no matter what it looked far most more of a trap by the market makers hence i waited enough to actually see the next impulse that would be happening okay so me reading the market i actually saw that we had an impulse move to the upside correction impulse up and then the market started trickling right here confirming that this was not a possible move to continue to the upside it's actually a fake out because this was our fourth anticipated touch so it's gonna make sense on a one hour time frame let's drop it to a one hour time frame so as you drop it to a one hour time frame you can actually see guys that what was happening now so now the good thing about knowing the market nature is that you actually are able to see when the impulse happen and when the correction happens so most a lot of people could have considered this as a touch at the bottom zone but the way i looked at it i was like instead of the prices impulsing up they're actually moving corrective towards the upside and now this last touch came as a confirmation in respect of this trend that we had right here so from that two point that's when i saw that now you know what andy start looking for possible selling opportunities on usd jpy so i waited up until prices dropped after they dropped that's when i put in my sell stop over here and then i allowed the market to do its nature so let's see how the market actually played out since my sell stop over here as the market kept on pushing now i was triggered into the prices and then i allowed the market to move but i started understanding that this was an impulse 
now this is acting as a correction in respect to say it's a breakout and a retest from the bottom support zone or trend line that we have over here then i became patient i continued with the price as you can see i continued with the price i continued with the price i continued with the price and then the market now finally went to my direction as the market went to my direction possibly we hit our first take profit that's what i remember my my first take profit was somewhere right about here because of the previous sensitive area and then i went after the take profit was hit we are out of the trade right as we were out of the trade not actually out of the trade but we secure some bit of profit because sometimes you must understand there's time to secure some profit somehow let's go to gbp jpy before i actually show you how it was on the profit side after placing this trade so here's how we got the gbp jpy trade right so my analysis confirmed something like this and then i just copied the lower zone and took it to the top zone to actually for the prices to actually make sense for me so we were ranging inside a bullish channel right so as we raise it as we were ranging inside the bullish channel dropping it to a one hour time frame dropping it to a one hour time frame that's when i started seeing something like this but i was like you know what for me not to trap myself let me actually spot where the sensitive areas are that's when i noticed that this is a touch 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 so possibly the market might start having a possible correction or either an impulse up as return i waited for the market as the market keeps pushing you start realizing what the market doing okay let me take it a bit back you start realizing what the market has been doing so from here i was like this is a smaller version of a correction as this is a smaller version of a correction i want to see myself being inside this trade that's when i anticipated that prices will be going forth down till that point and then i placed my sell stop from here placed my sell stop right there put my stop loss right there and the target was here the target was here as the market kept on playing around, I was triggered in. And look, me being triggered in, I'm already drowning in profits, right? I'm already drowning in profit, but I was not really kind of live to see this happening. So the market kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing till now we completed the 90% rule over there. That was when we considered closing the trade. That was when we considered closing the trade. But bear in mind, guys, I kept on scaling in, scaling in, scaling in so that I can maximize my profits. You're going to be able to see that on the next video is playing. So let's pay attention on how the previous two trades, which is USDJPY and GBPJPY, actually took me to thousands of USD. Let's go. Okay, guys, as you can see right now, we actually placed our trades. Let's see how they play out. Okay guys, so it's still that account again. Taking this to 1000 USD as you can see. Psych! So as you can see right now, we're still holding on um, GBP, JPY, focusing on the continuation of it from right there. And then um, we're also having USDJPY right here, focusing on the continuation for it right Okay, guys, as you can see, we're in the progress of still that account. So it doesn't yet reach our target. So we're actually waiting for it to reach this bottom. Then we're going to be closing the trade and everything. And then USDJPY also started coming back right now. Um, it was just those piece of retracements that occurred. So let's wait and see, guys. We'll see what happens in the evening. Still my broker, Clovex360, as you can see. Okay, guys, so it's still that account again. As you can see right now, we are on 1000 USD. And um, as you can look at it, we're still hoping not actually hoping but we're still holding the trade up until it reaches our target as you can see even right here at this level um, we're still waiting for the market to actually push towards the downside give us that overall um, 
setup we have and complete this trade so that we can actually capitalize from the trade but nonetheless this is coach your mentor signing out okay guys so for the next coming screen records please excuse me i'm really really sorry i was driving but the excitement i couldn't hold myself enough Okay guys, as you can see, it's still going quite well, right guys, the greatest thing is remember, this account is from, is from 0 0.06 dollars, from 0 0.6 dollars to actually till I close. So let's keep seeing what's going to happen. As you can see, we're still holding the trade. Um, we have, we're hoping to capitalize more. As you can see, even the people we gave out this um, signal actually to the premium group as you can see we're killing we're killing guys we're killing and it's still that my broker the um, globex 360 and as you can see the real account um there you go guys so let's wait and see what happens and check what's happening right now in the group you can see it was actually given um the signal uh, of a cell a usd jpy and then look what's happening right now so if you want to join guys the link will be on my bio um, on my description actually so you can join in and start making money with us and let's go to signing up um, remember once I said guys I said sometimes being greedy doesn't help so close a bit of profit and allow you to run So how many are left now? So um, DJ one, two, three, four. USDJPY one, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So that's it, guys. As you can see, still that account, still that account. Um, last week we draw. Uh, I withdrew four thousand USD. As you can see, let me show you real quick. Um, there it is. Quick withdrawal from to my card. It's four thousand and 381 USD. Okay guys, as you can see right now, this, if you remember properly, when the video started, I was explaining that I withdrew 4,000 USD before I actually started trading with the left credit. So this was when the withdrawal happened. Then we started trading again. Today, it's sitting on, um, it's sitting on, as you can see, um, 1.5 USD compounded. So yeah. Okay, just to make it be equivalent, let me just close, uh, uh, close uh, it's just 5 lots here, 0 0.5 lots, 0 0.5 close, done. As I close 0 0.5 lots, as you, you can see now, it's 1.5 USD um, that was made. So, yeah guys, nonetheless, this level is going to be so that's how you take an account from 0 0.06 dollars to actually 1.5 USD. That's how you do it. Nonetheless, I'm your mentor signing up. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we just placed NASDAQ as our last trade. So we're looking to push up until the upside. Sorry for the um, echo. I'm actually at the shopping store right now. So we're looking for it to go up to right there before we can actually close for the day. So yes sir. Alright guys, so for here, I didn't actually get a chance to take a screen record, 
because I was actually going out and I couldn't have a chance because there was a lot of noise, there was a lot of people and there was a lot that was happening at the current state. But I managed to take the screenshot and finally close my trades to avoid ignoring my MetaTrader for when I have trades running. So I think here we clocked right about 400 USD which put the account into 2000 something as you're going to be seeing in the next video. So let's look at how I continued trading the next day. Okay, so you can see guys, um, it's still going. Um, all we want is for GPUSD to complete this setup and then for Euro NZD to also complete the setup, then we out of the trade. So you can see still that account that we took from 0 0.06. Bear in mind of the 693 as to track if it's still the same account I'm trading. Yes, sir. Okay guys, so we have pushed, so without any further waste of time, let's just close some few profit so that we don't take unnecessary profits back to the markets. Don't take unnecessary profits back to the markets. Um, okay, NZUSD closed. And then let's look at, now GPSD, I'm actually looking for it to complete the entire setup because that's that's the target that's where it has to reach for it to turn by far as you can see right here we almost hit <coughs> the target right here so there's a possible reversal right there if not there's going to be a continuation so we don't really like bringing taking back unnecessary profits back to the market so yeah and that's how it is okay guys so this was the actual final stage of the video um here i was in a meeting i couldn't actually take a screen recording because when i was in the middle of a meeting the list i would do was to take the screenshot of how to take an account from 0 0.06 cents dollars to actually 3.1 thousand us dollars that is amazing the reason i'm saying that I want you to calculate 2,312.89 USD, add it with the current running profits, and then see what's the balance right now after it closed in the meeting. And then boom, the withdrawal came through. So I hope you all guys enjoyed that video and I hope it helped a lot of people to understand how to grow a small account. Nonetheless, FS Got Your Mentor signing out. I hope you enjoyed that video guys and I hope you learned a thing or two on how I grew an account from actually 0 0.06 cents dollars to actually 3,100 US dollars. Um, to be quite honest with you guys, when I did this as well, it was quite shocking for me as well because the last time I grew a small account was in 2019 where I took a $10 account, I took it to a 500 USD account. So guys, for the skill, if you want to learn the skill of how I actually did that, the link to our courses is on description. Make sure you, you click on it guys. Purchase our course while discount still lost remember i said um the cost for currencies was 600 usd but now it's 50 percent off it's 300 usd the cost for nasdaq us 30 it was 500 usd now it's on 50 percent discount which is 250 us dollars and if you want to use the broker that i'm using that i used to grow this account the link will be on the description make sure you click on the link and actually trade together and have the great experience that I've been having ever since I've been trading with this broker. And I'm also doing a movement, guys, whereby I want to show people and I also want to include people in this movement whereby we're going to be taking together a $100 account to a $1,000 account. Join the link on description, the Telegram group, join the both of them, Join the first one, which is my free public group, and then join the second one, which is a 
to a thousand uh, USD um, movement. So nonetheless, guys, this is the first coach, your mentor, signing out. Guys, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, guys. I kindly ask you in the name of Jesus. Guys, nonetheless, FS Coach, your mentor, signing out. I love you all.